What is going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out one of the most awesome things I've seen in like a week I feel like. Like it's pretty damn exciting what I'm getting into. Real quick though, before discussing the actual content, you might notice I'm not at home right now. I'm actually staying up in Northern California for a few more days. So I'm like extremely out of my element. I'm, I'm, I'm basically recording in someone's kitchen right now. I'm also from like a different angle. The whole thing is just weird as hell. There's a few things that I don't have control over. My voice echo in this little ball of room the rooms the bedrooms are even worse so the kitchen was literally the best place to set up in and then like this really blue light that makes me look like i've been dead for six hours a few things like that slightly out of my control so just excuse me for that i apologize there's all, yeah there's the echo the lighting pretty much everything that goes into recording something is thrown off in here so i apologize greatly i'll be back in a couple days i actually hate it man there's no internet up here dude it's like it took me days to it took me like six hours just to upload arc or to, to update arc it was insane so I, I can't even live stream until i get back in a couple days it's, it's freaking heartbreaking all right so basically i got on arc uh last night to see what i was going to record today and i thought i'd commit suicide no and i re i saw like i was just all the mods that update are like the first thing my eyes go to i'm like oh shit what's been changing in the mod world and play as dino updated which hasn't updated in for freaking ever as far as i can tell because i did i did so many videos on this mod so long ago and I, I've, I've covered almost every single one of these like literally at four creatures a video four or five creatures a video i've done all of these like crazy but they've added new creatures which makes it all new for so of course i was getting back in here and i was playing around with it last night and you you legit See, a lot of people don't like a lot of parts of this mod because you just feel like you're riding, you're an invisible player riding on top of creatures, which is why I only play on the creatures you can't actually ride on when you do it, which makes it a lot more special. But now it's implemented like special moves if you are these. So here we are as the eel. Look at this. Press C to electrocute nearby dinos. How crazy is that? We've essentially become Emperor Palpatine around here. Oh my god, zap him, you fool. He's not zapping. There we go. And now he's stunned. There we go, man. It's really cool, too, because you notice, like, I didn't notice this before. I, I rarely ever used the eel, to be honest, like, in Ark. More of a land dweller, to be honest. But I didn't realize the little sides of it light up as it has, like, another charge ready. Then you just zap his ass. Unlimited power! I just went, I just went Palpatine all over him. This, this thing, it's hilarious. And you just basically keep these creatures stunned whenever you're able to hit C just to pretty much screw people over. I wonder how many things it could hit though, if you could like stun multiple, it's a beautiful ability. See this thing, this and a few others, there is a server where everyone's playing on it like this, like where everyone's plays Dino, it's like controlled by, it's it's like listed on the mod page. It's, it's listed, yeah, it's, it's, it's like the mod dev server I believe. I was thinking how crazy it would be just to even get a few subscribers in there as like eels and we go around like tasing everybody, kind of just ripping them apart after we tase them because you know, eels gotta eat and all that jazz. So, I don't know, there's just so many awesome possibilities. It makes me want to live stream it too. It makes me want to get like 30 subscribers on the server. But I don't know if we'd go in as eels, because I have another creature that has a new ability in here that's definitely my favorite and would be the most fun. All right, so if I'm stuck in this kind of pickle, there's a handful of players chasing after me. God, everything's so weird. Everything in this camera lighting is so weird. This is just because, you know, YouTube's YouTube, man. God, I've uploaded in some weird hotel rooms before, which I've had some horribly weird lighting, so I don't even think this is even remotely as bad as I've had it before. All right, time to zap them. How many of them stay tased? None of them stay tased. It's malarkey. There we go. Okay, we just got at least half. It's just such a great creature. It's so amazing for escapes. See, because when you are the creature, you're not trying to tame anything. Obviously, you can't. That's not how. That's not how it works. You know, we're we're wild creatures as well. So it's all about the hunts and then getting away. Those are like your two main concerns. How am I going to kill this thing, or how am I going to get away from this thing? And this eel just packs so much abilities for it. Come on, charge it up. Look at that. Unfortunately, it does not do that much melee damage. You'd be focusing on like smaller targets, or just I guess depending on how many eels you have in your school of eel fish. Either way, it's awesome right there. All right, now. Holy shit, the biggest mosquito eater just landed on my keyboard. Are you serious? Look at this thing. Ah! Oh, God, I think it's huge. It's like the size of my palm. Freaky. I love mosquito eaters, though. They eat mosquitoes. This is the best thing ever. What was the other one? What was the other one I was really excited for? Where was, where, 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 where beeth? See, some of these are, like, some of these right here, like the sheep, unicorn creatures like that. It's cool that they were added. Actually, I wonder if they have any sort of ability. I didn't even think to think that it might, they might have an ability. They do not have an ability. See, creatures like this I generally avoid in this mod because this this is when it just kind of feels like it's an invisible player riding on top of the creature. 
Although, if you were this unicorn, there would be literally no other way to show it. So it's just a vicious cycle. It should be. It should be, like, this is exactly how it would look also if it was just, like, you being the character, but we're just, we're just too glued on to the fact that there's somebody on the back of it. My Unibob died. Alright, what was the other, what, what was the other one I was really excited, where, where, where were you? Was it a boss? It was definitely not a boss. There we go. This right here, press C to hide in your shell. How amazing is that? This is the pack of creatures I would go in as. This, it'd be me and like 15 subscribers at least going around as snails. Which might not seem like the most amazing thing to most of you because it doesn't even have an attack or anything, but it's just, it's just such a vulnerable creature. But then once it wraps up in its shell, it's virtually indestructible. It's beautiful! I mean, it's like, they literally can't, can't phase you. You can stay in your shell for hours with like 10 T-Rexes biting at you and nothing will ever change. It's pretty good us in there. Not of care in the world. The scary thing though is if little creatures got up in there. That's when you feel bad. Look at him just pop right out of his tail. It's beautiful. Alright, prime suspect. Hostile coming in us. Oh, we're almost dead. We're almost dead. Get in your shale, son. And now we are protected. In this right here, you just just imagine like 10 players. Make sure to smack that like button. Let me know down below if I should do that. Cause I'd be so down to live stream on that server. Just a bunch of subs. You guys tell us all which spe which like species to be in the comment section. See, they eventually just get sick of you. Then you come back out of the shell. No, he's aggro on the trike. Ha 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 ha. Take that. I mean, obviously starting out on the edge. Ah! Starting out on the edge of the beach would be a vicious lifestyle. It's gonna take a long time for us to get inland to any cool, like, really, really awesome snail spots. But once we get there, you know, it's, it's half, half the journey is the journey, right? And the lighting in here is so weird. I just turned on every light in this freaking mansion. I am so well lit right now, and the camera just does not see it that way. This is so weird. I apologize so much. This is not how my videos normally look. It's, I don't know. It's, I, don't, I just, it's, it's, it's always the videos that go viral where I'm recording in a bad place. That isn't how it normally looks. It just, it reflects on my channel horribly. All right, so I think that's pretty much the skills and... Where the hell did everybody go? I zoned out for- okay, there's the trike and there's the dead raptor. It all makes sense to me now. So this- this, I feel like, is the first thing I'd go in as in a survival series for sure because it's, you know, it's just hilarious hiding from creatures in your shell. Alright, there's a few more awesome things in the episode, I believe. I'm actually not entirely sure how many creatures have abilities, now that I think about it. It's super awesome that abilities are being added, though. Makes the whole thing so much more fun. Look at this guy. What do we have in the mammal department? Got any mammals for me? Got any? Okay, what about herbivores? Herbivore, I'm gonna go with this guy. I wonder what, I remember the dodo. It all started with the dodo. That was like the first creature in this mod that you could play as, and it was like this, this awesome thing. I imagine there's no advantage to being the dung beetle, other than the fact that you, you know, have domain control over feces. Yeah, I don't think we have any abilities or anything. Dude, I was just watching the development stage of rhinoceros beetles, is that what they're called? Those giant ass beetles that basically resemble this. It is a crazy development stage, like it is absolutely insane. From larva to adulthood. Like that packs some mystery right there, those videos. Okay, so the dung beetle's life is that, dung. It's a shit, it's a shitty lifestyle. I was killed by dung, I heard, I heard monkeys in there. Alright, this guy, I don't think I've played as him. He does not have an ability, although I feel like he should just eat these compies one at a time. Although this gives me bad memories right here of that time I fed too big of crickets to my lizards. Anybody who has lizards and has ever made that mistake, you know what happens. Horror ensues. You wake up to your best friends being eaten. Yeah, see, I would imagine you guys are right below me in the food chain, even though obviously not realistically, but it would, it would appear that way. This guy, this... This is just a happy time. I mean, this isn't even about him having abilities or being able to do anything special. This is just about this creature being as floppy and like bottom or like weight swingy as possible. Weight swingy is not a word. I mean, like, look at that. Look at that shifting from the front to the back. Look at those baby legs in the back. What is going on there? Never really. I don't know. You just get a different appreciation for the movement of this creature when you are him. Oh, that hustle is just adorable. Although I feel like we are really exhausting this little fella. I feel like he only runs to be food to excite the thing trying to eat him. That's the only point in him re uh, running whatsoever. It's because T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's <laughs> it's evolutions. I will, yeah, we'll, we'll allow it to run, but you know, don't let it outrun anything. Just, you know, give it some sort of fight or flight movement. 
See, playing as a bunch of these, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it really, I'm split when it comes to playing as the dino server, because so many people, obviously, a lot of people just want to be, like, um, T-Rexes or Gigas, whatever, you know, dominate the world, but that's gonna be very limited fun very quick, where is this, imagine, you little bastard, where is, just imagine with running around with a bunch of these guys, just like three or four in your pack, just the homies, trying to escape trouble, okay, we're gonna die right out, man, this is, this is the end of times. Oh, we did it. We did it. But yeah, just imagine a few of you guys just as these trumping along the beach. I feel like that'd be so special. But yeah, of course, like the more fun creatures are to play with because they're little and you're just kind of getting into the whole swing of their survival day to day as they're smaller. They're lower on the food chain than other creatures. Making you a victim. I know there will be updates too. Right now, only like Carnos, Compies, Raptors. And maybe like one or two flyers are able to actually make nests and have kids and hatch their nest kids But I think more are gonna be added down the line. I'm not sure I don't know if that's been abandoned or not But I, th I thought this mod was abandoned long ago, but apparently it's been picked up oh, oh, burping It's been picked up ba ba back up. I burped and then I stuttered I, 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 Oh my god, see the Kairugu. I haven't gotten into the Kairugu. I did this video maybe like a year ago but this right here would be so special, like, if you had just a group of people all going along like this. And damn it, the Isle really needs to implement other creatures. They don't even need to at this point, because we have we could play as them on Ark. But look at this little fella. I understand this mod died in popularity like crazy in the last few months, but it's just because it was not updated anymore. Now that it's... Now that it's... If it gets updated and creatures get abilities like they have been, like the few I've showed off that have, then that would just be all kinds of amazing. So I don't think I could even show it here. I kind of need like a bit of a click to drop off to show the Kairuku's adorable little penguin dive. But it's 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 a cute one. And if there were like 10 of us together doing it, we'd get the ladies, that's for sure. Is this where we would like sunbathe and try to get away from predators on our rocks? We'd really make this all so realistic. <laughs> oh, see, this is when you gotta watch out. See, we may be penguins, you know, we're fast, agile, awesome little creatures, but there are large fish in the water that want to eat us. And stamina is done for, and now we're gonna be eaten by piranhas. It's a vicious lifestyle, surviving as any of these creatures. Oh, we're done for, man. You cannot run out of stamina in the water. Why am I so dark on camera? What is happening to my life? Every light is on me except for the fucking bat spotlight. Oh yeah, terror birds can have kids too as well. Oh wait, you're new. What's going on, Trudon? Press C to scout for wild dinos. That's awesome! What an awesome ability right there. God, these guys would be terrifying if like a pack of these kind of stumbled onto you. You're just a few moss chops just trying to chill. And snakes! Snakes! Ah! Damn, I'm horrified of snakes. Man, a snake had no beef with me. A snake had no corals, but like the sound of the giant snake is just... See, that'd be scary. A few creatures actually be weird if they grouped up. Like, I feel like they'd have to get kicked from the server. If there was just like 10 Titan of Boas hanging out together, I'd be like, I don't know about that. I don't know if that would happen. Whereas most, most creatures would hang out like that. Scout for those dinos. See, this is when you'd be screwed. I wish it showed different logos for different dinosaurs though. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not a different logo for each specific dinosaur. It seems to show a T-Rex for all of them. But maybe if, just a diff, I don't know. Because you could go around the corner thinking you're about to go score on some little food and then you get there and it's a giant food. Although, would they really be able to tell the difference between certain kinds of creatures? I don't know, if you could just show like flyer, herbivore, carnivore, or small, I don't know. Because then you could get like a compi mixed up with a T-Rex or something. You're still not 100% sure what's going on around that corner. Maybe some, I don't know. I think this ability works just fine if we're hungry. A pack of Trudons, which look terrifying by the way. These creatures have never, like there's... There is nothing as evil and non-trustworthy looking as this face right there that you're seeing. Even that slut who probably cheated on you in high school. It does not compare to this thing in the slightest. In, in forms of evil. I just love its vicious little attacks. This is all I would play as. It's creatures that you can't ride on. This is where all the fun comes in. What the hell's going on? I'm wondering what these, what these things were. What such a large group of dinos were doing hanging out congregating in such a small spot. I suppose we were just trying to get- We should be able to just eat a bug quicker though. I think I still have god mode on. But- Oh no I don't. I had to take it off for me to be eaten. Bitches, we should be able to just jump up and grab a bug in our mouth and then proceed in life. This is ridiculous. This is why you need friends everywhere you go in this game. I forgot you could go in as a baby too. You could really have some fun with this. You could just- But like being a baby you need constant guard. You need immediate defending actually. There's- That's- That's completely true. You can't just- 
I don't know, because these babies, you starve to death so quick if you don't get food and you're so slow, you can't really do anything. It's it's a very vicious life cycle. It's, it's, it's dirty. Like, what if I just came in as a baby bat? You know what I mean? Baby bat needs, yeah, I'm adorable. I'm sure I am. Baby bat needs food. Oh, do we not come in as a baby bat? I realized, I was like, I don't think I've ever come in as a baby bat before. I wonder if that's not a thing. Or I wonder if this is just a baby bat. I don't think it is. I don't think either way, it's kind of terrifying. A lot of creatures don't have baby, I'm pretty sure. That's why I chose bat. I don't think I'd ever chosen bat before. Still hilarious with that. It would just be cool to maintain caves on your map. Be like the onyx that control the caves. There's just so many fun things around here. Just role play so many different situations. I just want to do some giant battle royale situations with different creatures. I feel like that'd be the coolest thing ever. There we go. If I put a giant light right in my face, then I'm blind, but I'm also a tiny drop well, more well lit. It's a perfect system. Perfect. Okay, you know what? I'm going in as a baby sheep. It's what I always wanted to be in life, and now here's my chance to finally do this thing. You don't want to put a baby sheep in the freaking swamp. This is baby sheep hell. Are you serious? This is where baby sheeps go to die. What are you? You're just a shell? Look at this adorable little sheepy poo we are right now. Well, this is special. Wow, if this isn't like the most delicious, easy, most awesomely available little bite of food right here for so many creatures in this environment, then I don't know what is. Like, look at the size of this snail. He's, he's, he's trumping me right now, guys. I look like a little tic tac. I look like a tampon. I look like a tampon with legs. I'm just a. Please, look at this little sheep. Oh my god, now you done did it. Now you done did it. I feel like this would also be pretty damn awesome. Imagine being like a player with like two or three sheep in your pack of sheep or your herd, and then a few players spawn in as babies, and you gotta protect the baby sheep away from like a pack of raptors. There's just so many possibilities with this stuff. It makes it so much more fun. Oh my god, those hops! Well, that's how you gotta do it. Running's for fools. Running is a fool's errand when you're a sheep. It's all about those hops. Look at that. You would look like a bunch of little popcorn chicken rabbits bouncing all over the place. That would be hilarious. It would actually be a bit of a pain in the ass to kill a bunch of kids. Alright, well I'm off to probably get eaten by a lizard. If you guys had a good time watching, be sure to smack that like button, especially if you want me to do that server thing, because I am totally down. And yeah, mod is in the description below if you want to play for yourself, and have a nice day guys. Peace! Yeah.